She was not a target, but she lost her life. An arrest made tonight in the murder of Desiree Rivera. She was killed seemingly on accident by a man investigators say was shooting randomly at a house party. The suspect, 20-year-old Jonathan Arriola, walked in front of our cameras today. The night team Zaria Oates was there as Bear County Sheriff's deputies took him to jail. Right. Did you kill someone, Jonathan? No, ma'am. 20-year-old Jonathan Ariola was arrested Jonathan, in connection happened? to the shooting death of 21-year-old Desiree Hope Rivera. Rivera was shot and killed at a party in a vacant home on Old Pearsall Road on March 9th. Her death videotaped by others at the party. At least one other person also hurt in the shooting. And it was a pistol that was converted by the use of a uh, switch piece of equipment that can be put on a, on a gun aftermarket and turns a semi-automatic handgun into a, into a machine gun. Ariola is charged with murder and aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. According and to Bear County Sheriff Javier Salazar, Ariola may have been shooting randomly. Uh, intoxicated, he's mad about having lost a fight, he's mad about having gotten kicked out. He's armed, he's intoxicated, and that's just a recipe for disaster. And so yeah, I don't believe that he knew, he just shot randomly at the building. But, Sheriff Salazar says warrants for social media videos assisted homicide investigators in identifying and locating you Ariola. We actually, as part of this case, actually do have a video of that we believe that occurred at the, at the time of the shooting. It captures audio, and what you can hear is absolutely a machine gun uh, being fired off. Sheriff Salazar says they Jonathan, are still looking for say? four suspects who were in the car with Jonathan, Ariola during the shooting. We are not ruling out other arrests in this case. If you have any information that could lead investigators to the suspects who were in the car with Ariola, contact the Bear County Sheriff's Office. Zaria Oates, KSAT 12 News.